Hello guys and welcome back to another video. In this one I'll be showing you this awesome router with one 10 gigabit SFP plus port, seven gigabit ethernet ports and other interesting features. Stick around to learn more. As always, let's first start with a quick unboxing of the router. Inside the box you're going to find the router itself, two rack mount ears, one longer and one shorter, a power cord, a power adapter, some manuals, some screws and rubber feet, and finally a micro USB to USB type A cable. The heart of this router is a Tolera Tile GX9 CPU. As the name might suggest, this router has a 9-core CPU which is clocked at 1 GHz. It's equipped with 2 gigs of RAM and 128 MB of storage. You can expand the storage of this router using a micro SD card. From the software side, this router supports full router OS level 6. Level 6 is the highest possible level with all the features unlimited. This means that you can have an unlimited number of clients or VPN tunnels. On the sides there is nothing except for the holes for passive cooling and rack mounting. On the back you can see a grounding point, a big heatsink for passive cooling, a micro SD slot for storage expansion and a power jack. On the front you can see a 10 gigabit SFP plus port, a combo port SFP or 1 gigabit Ethernet, then 7 independent Ethernet ports. You can also see a reset switch, a console port, a smart card slot, some indicators and the micro USB port. On top you can see an LCD touch screen for quick management. This router also supports two powering options. The first one is quite obvious. That is the barrel jack on the back of the unit. But if you look closely, you can also see that on port Ethernet 7 there's PoE slash boot written above the port. This is a cool feature, but I don't see a lot of use for it, considering that you'd have to have a power over Ethernet switch to power it, but then you'd also probably want to plug the switch to the faster 10 gigabit SFP plus port for a fast trunk connection. That Ethernet 7 port can also be used for management purposes. Now I'd like to talk about that SFP slash Ethernet combo port. It's great for one specific reason and that reason is WAN failover. You can have it set up in such a way that if your primary WAN fails or loses connection, this router automatically switches to the Ethernet port which can be connected to a secondary antenna or modem for WAN failover. It can also work the other way around. Let's now answer the final question. Who is this router for? I like to think of this router as a very powerful small to medium business router. It can also serve a purpose for a smaller ISP, but it also has a lower price compared to other routers in this category, which is great even for people like home lovers who want a very powerful home router, which will handle all of their servers, access points and others while providing secure VPN tunnels while on the go. And that's all for today. 
If you like this video, give it a like and if you want to see more of these reviews, unboxings and tutorials for network equipment like this one, be sure to click that subscribe button. I have a lot of videos planned for the near future, so stay tuned. With all that being said, thank you all for watching this far and I'll see you in the next one.